So Connor McDavid knows the time to beat. This is where he and excel. Hey, look at that. Oh, that oh, this oh, just oh. looks different. Look at his feet. Never stop moving. Well, <laughs> my secret weapon. So much in that That's my boy. Let's win this thing. Vince, is it okay that he wears his jersey? Whatever he wants. What do you want to wear? A pretty dress. A pretty dress? Yeah. Lennon wants to wear a pretty dress. It's obviously a huge honor anytime you get to go. And now having my two kids with me and my oldest being five, kind of being able to understand what's going on. He's a huge hockey fan. It's just making it that much more special to be able to share it with them. Come here, Leo. Let's do your hair, big guy. He's looking forward most to watching all the mascot stuff. That's the most important schedule that we're looking at this week. What are we doing? To the red carpet. We're just going to walk down the carpet, and you're going to look as good as possible and take pictures. Heck yeah, dog. You look fly. He plays uh, NHL on his Xbox, and it's going to be crazy to see him be like, oh, that's that guy in real life. What player are you most excited to see? Connor McDavid. He doesn't need to have a response to that. <laughs> Where are we gonna go? In just a minute. To the red carpet, so you can walk like a pretty girl. You look at Toronto, it's maybe the hockey capital of the world, and they're gonna do it as big as they possibly can here. Obviously, tons of fans, and for them to see all these cool events and how big they're doing it right now in Toronto, is it's a lot of fun. Come on. A really amazing start to the weekend. The fan lineups, you can't believe how long they are. Let's make it jump. Make some noise for your NHL All-Star! Who can bring the party like me? I'm, I'm, I'm who they all came to see. We always have a red carpet of some sort at All-Star Weekend, where we get to see a little bit of the style, a little bit of the swag from these NHL superstars. But this year, it feels like every single name is a big time ticket. Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, Elias Pettersson, David Posternock. Morgan Riley! Yeah. Austin Matthews! Yeah. Baby, you know that we run it. I think we were surprised by the turnout, but that's awesome. I think that just goes to show the fans here in Toronto were excited about the players coming to town. Let's get in now. Nobody can pull off that suit like David Pasternak or, or that color. My amazing friends back home, uh, you know, they've been helping me with some uh, outfits for the uh, last couple of years, and they obviously hand-painted the whole suit, which I thought was amazing. I don't know what version of yellow that is, but it looked amazing on him. You definitely uh, try to enjoy a moment at the same time you're trying to, you know, make a lot of kids happy and take a picture with them. Seeing all the fans is awesome, and growing up in Toronto, I love watching the All-Star Games. I love going to games, and just made it that much more special to uh, celebrate with friends and family. Toronto really is the center of the hockey universe. Whether it's us as media or certainly the players, I think everyone just feels the natural energy that this city has. You feel it every single time playing here when you land. Just the, the hunger and the passion for hockey is second to none and obviously something I grew up with, so it's, uh, it's fun to be back. The players get to feel the buzz of a hockey mad city and that's kind of what the vibe is here in Toronto for the All-Star Game. This is a place that certainly deserves it. So much history here. This was the site of the first All-Star Game. And now many years later, we can celebrate that history and also look at how the game has evolved. And I think adding another day and having a full three days of All-Star festivities, I think was a great idea. You know how they're doing a draft? Just this weekend, just on the All-Star team. There'll be four All-Star teams, and we get drafted to one. There's a blue, a white, a yellow, and a red. It's kind of a weird feeling having everybody in our locker room. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Mo? People kind of buzzing around from different teams. It's strange, but fun and different. You like the blue one? Rangers colors? 
I was so excited for the draft to be back. Everybody's mic'd up. You've got celebrities in attendance, making picks and, and having some fun. Last night, Wayne Gretzky picked randomly the order. First pick, the Blue Blade team. <laughs> Second pick, the Bieber squad. Third pick, McRae. Fourth pick, Arnett. There will be 45 seconds to make your pick. This draft format is going to give us a chance to see some really interesting combinations, maybe a little bit more chaos, because these guys aren't used to playing with each other. Hi. Hey, I'm, I'm Nathan. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, OK, we'll work something out. OK. We'll sign over now. <laughs> I think it's a good chance to kind of mix up the teams and not just keep it within your division. I think fans are excited about it. I've had people reach out to me telling me they're excited, so I hope the players can have some fun with it and, and, uh, and make it competitive. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. One word, how would you describe the player draft last night? Exciting, fun. Different, successful, anxious. I was sitting there for a little bit. It felt like sitting back at the NHL draft where you're just sitting there waiting for your name to get called. Jim, after you get tagged, make sure you pick one. NHL All-Star Weekend begins right now here in Toronto. Justin Bieber as their celebrity captain. The celebrity captain, Tate McRae. Michael Bublé. Everybody. Will Arnett. Like family food. <laughs> We have four NHL superstars who are going to put on their GM hats tonight. Let the drama begin. Team Hughes on the clock as we begin. We are mic'd up and we are on. Oh, boy. I think we wanted Kucherov or Crosby. Hey, if we make the playoffs, I say we take 10. <laughs> McKinnon wanted Crosby, though, so we weren't going to snag him. The idea that someone would not allow him to draft Sidney Crosby, his Cole Harbor buddy, that is literally begging for Nathan McKinnon to truck you on the ice. We proudly select from the Tampa Bay Lightning, Nikita Kucherov. Oh, Nikita Kucherov, first Absolutely. player chosen. I, I was a little surprised to see Kucherov go first overall. You know, there's so many great players. That's the fun of this. You can't go wrong taking the leading score in the league. Ready. Nate McKinnon, third overall pick. I think we're going to have to go with Sidney Crosby. Ryan Owens, a seven year old yeah. Timbit kid. He will play the part of Sidney Crosby tonight. Of course, the snake draft, you're going to get the next two. Okay, the next so it's a bit of a strategy. You got goalies out there. We all need two goalies, right? The only strategy we had was to pick a goalie early. We want somebody who's going to make a difference. We want somebody who's going to toe the line. We want Connor Hellbuck. Whoa, an early goalie selection. I think the goalie skate's so funny with Doc Mads, man. Like, he's hilarious. Parents right now. He looks like a... He looks like a baby deer. <laughs> the first round's in the books. So what's the bet between us three? I really wanted them to make a bet. The last one uh, still sitting here. <laughs> we were thinking like that the last one sitting on the bench would slide on his knees towards the people that drafted him. I mean, we should have wear shin pants, so the last one would just slide on his like knees. Belly yeah, belly slide. Yeah, but uh, then we didn't have shin pants. <laughs> we think that we need a little bit of goal scoring, so we got David pass. Oh, yeah. Wow, pleasure, boys. Hey, hey you got to try a little bit. We're gonna go with Rasmus Dahlin. Oh, filthy. I was really disappointed when I saw Sway sitting last on the bench that we didn't shake on that, because it would be fun to, to see him sliding there around the ice. <laughs> Will you sign this for me? Yeah. Of course, having the celebrity captains involved was also really cool. This is like my fantasy team. Listen, I'm in first place in all my leagues. I need to keep going. I thought Michael Buble was pretty hilarious. Team Hughes, no, we need another 10 minutes. That's all. <laughs> Bublé is obviously a massive Canucks fan, so I think the strategy was just go after any Canuck on the on the board. We didn't take Sid for them, so that we they leave one of the Canucks for us. Yeah, man. Brock Besser from the Vancouver Canucks. It was fun to hang out with him for a little bit. I love watching you too. <laughs> Dog about this. 
We know. You're the mastermind of this whole thing. For getting Crosby? <laughs> Listen, I'm a big fan of Tate McRae. I think her new album is awesome. Nobody told me to say that. This is how I truly feel. I thought she did really well. They're saying we need to add some grit. So we're gonna go with Tom Wilson. Perfect. Nice. We need somebody who's gonna fight Brady Kachuk. <laughs> You, you look comfy. <laughs> Justin, I wonder how much input are you having with the picks tonight? He was putting a lot of trust in me and Austin. I mean, I'm trusting these guys. Definitely trusting these guys. Yeah, but he's a Leafs fan, so we wanted to make sure that we got Willie and Mitch. Should, we, should I do it? Let's do it. Mitchy, get over here. Mitchie. Willie's pretty easy going. You know, he didn't mind whether he went first or second, but I know Mitch did, so it was more about making him wait than anything else. I thought Will Arnett coming out in a Leafs hat with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl was kind of funny. Here's my rule when it comes to picking teams, hockey teams. Don't ask the actor. You know what, believe it or not, he actually knows his hockey. He was great. He knew all of the players. He had his input, and he was great. Fun to be around. Where do we go next? I don't know. You take another goalie? <laughs> throw, throw We've given this a lot of thought. We've, we've applied all of our brain power to it. Okay. From Florida, Sam Reinhardt. I think we're gonna grab Sam's teammate, Sergey Bobrovsky. Sergey! They call that synergy. We got lots of skill, but we also went with a little bit of work ethic and effort. I like the makeup of our team. That was fun, huh? That was awesome. A little bit stressful, but Dude. fun. I like our team. Yeah, I do too. I think we got the best jerseys too. I think, thank you, I picked them to see generational type players that may not ever share the same team, the same jersey. Now they have the opportunity to play together. It's great. How's it going, man? Hi, guys. How are you? Welcome back to Scotiabank Arena and the PWHL 3 on 3 showcase. All right, girls. Yeah, I mic'd up. <laughs> I mic'd up. To see All-Star Thursday the PWHL take center stage for a three-on-three -three was really mind-blowing to me. A little bit emotional as well. Who's your favorite player? I don't know. Well, you have a lot of good ones to pick from today. We're only a month into the, the inaugural PWHL season, but it's already night and day different from any league that we've seen the women in the past. getting going. To be inclusive with coaches, players is important. It's inspiring a lot of young women to get into hockey. It's big for hockey. It's big for women who love the game. It'll only grow over time and obviously the product on the ice is getting better and better. <laughs> We're back at it again. Where you going? Where you going? Go for a third, Sam. She's open. Oh, yeah! Savannah Harmon with a hat trick. To be a small piece in this big puzzle to push the sport along is something that none of us who are currently involved uh, take lightly. It's a huge responsibility and it's also a fun one. They had the best players to showcase the game and that's what we've seen. It felt big, fans in attendance were excited. These girls are incredible athletes and incredible players so it's a perfect showcase for people to see that. Inside Scotiabank Arena for the 2024 All-Star Skills event. It's been a great first few days here in the city of Toronto. Tonight should be no different. I love the skills competition. For me, that's the highlight of All-Star Weekend. I had a backyard rink here in Toronto, and when you watch the skills competition, it was always fun as a kid to try and replicate the accuracy, skating around the rink as fast as you can. Charles underneath mile an hour slap shot. That was pretty wild to see. I remember Kaner doing the Superman. He is Clark Kent and Superman all at once. I'm really excited to watch this year. I thought it was really cool that Connor McDavid got involved to redesign the NHL skills competition. You know, I think it was getting away from what we were really there to do, and that's to show off our skill and to show what we can do. He wanted to kind of bring it back to a more hockey-centered competition. And the thing I loved about the idea 
is the limited field of competitors. Each event adds to your score. After the sixth event, the top eight players advance. The bottom four are done for the night. This is the first time that we're seeing 12 players get paired down to eight, get paired down to six, and then one champion. Reputations are on the line. I think bragging rights are on the line. And of course, the million dollars. I think it's exciting that it's kind of gone back to the raw skills that guys use on a nightly basis. It just makes it more competitive. The stuff that these players can do is incredible, and I love watching. Your 2024 NHL Skills All-Stars. May the best and luckiest player win. <laughs> Daddy's not doing this one. It's fastest skater. They go a whole lap and go how fast they can go. The idea of following 12 players from event to event to event, getting kind of emotionally involved, it's going to feel a little bit like reality television. I don't know how you change your stick every game. Is that the key to score an 80? You got to change your twig every game? People giving each other a hard time about who's going first, who's going last. Who's starting? No. <laughs> There's certainly some gamesmanship with that. Gable, you going last? You going last? It's all good. You'll overcome that. You'll overcome that. When it matters, the competitive juices will take over, and they will want to beat each other. Ready? Watch him. We're going to do a whole lap. Ah! So watch and running here. Oh, fast. Watch right here. Here he comes down the stretch. 14.16 for the time to beat. Oh, boy. So Quinn Hughes has taken the lead. We step it up now with Makar, Barzell, and McDavid. They're in a little bit different league. But of course, last year we saw Makar fall in Florida. One of the things I've really learned over the years is how much these great players care about their craft. Keep your feet, like, tight. Yeah, I might not cross over, though. Like, I might just, like, come in and then come out of it really fast. The players are more skilled than ever. He's got such a powerful stride but sometimes the differences between them and the other best is so minute. Oh my God, the exact same almost. 088, 089. That's crazy. Quinn Hughes by one thousandth of a second. Oh. All right, I am four. Let's go. I am four. <laughs> One of the stories I really liked hearing about Matthew Barcel of the Islanders wasn't initially picked as one of the players to take place in the skills competition. And he had the Islanders call on his behalf and say, I, I want to be there. I admire that kind of competitive fire. He hasn't broke stride yet. Oh! Oh! Uh, Barzi's a beauty. My boy. 13 5. I'm not going to do it. So Connor McDavid knows the time to beat. This is where he is going to excel. Right, look at that. Shankies. Oh, this oh, just oh. looks different. Look at his feet. Never stop moving. Wow. There's winner, winner, chicken farm dinner. Light work, eh? Cut the corner a little bit. Cut the corner a little bit there. I know. Huh? I know. Should be docked points. You knocked one over last time. <laughs> no, I didn't. I no, I didn't. Part of what I love about this new format is that it's very hard to decipher who will actually rise to the top. To have all 12 start and be able to pick four of the first six rounds um, gives them the choice and the freedom to kind of decide what they think they'll be able to be the best at. I, I was thinking accuracy, but then like. Up against Connor, I'm not gonna win. Yeah. Well, it, it was hard. The only thing I knew for sure is the fastest skater I'm absolutely not doing. You were the only one who started sideways. Everybody yeah. went forward. I think that's what it was? No. I, I will try it, though. I will try it. Okay. I will try that before going <laughs> sideways. <laughs> it's not, that's not it, pal. And now, the Tim Hortons NHL one timers. I think aim middle and hopefully, like, a little bit higher, yeah. Each player taking three one timers. There's different score totals depending on where you put it. Bedard passes to the righties, Crosby to the lefties. Don't be stressed, just rip him, rip him in his boots. Like that. There you go, the poppy. Nice and fluffy in the middle. Wow. 
What a start. Shots are all gold in the real game. Oh, it has no chance. 21 missed to take the lead. David Pasternak will win the one-timer competition. Thank you. And you thought we'd avoid the situation room uh, no. in the skills competition. Apparently not. We got to go to video review. Let's take one more look. Oh, it hit the bar. Yeah, hit the it went bar. Down, so that's in. one instead of three. So Nathan McKinnon gets the win. Oh, girl. Oh. Uh, we are getting a set for event number three here at Scotiabank Arena. It is the passing challenge. You gonna go for the small one every time? I'm not telling you my strategy. Each player has 45 seconds to complete 11 passes. Each target they're aiming for will have different point values. One, two, or three. It's kind of hard, eh? Whoa, started out so good. Elias Patterson now. Better hurry. He's gonna run out of time, no? Stumble, Ooh, fumble. Oh! And... No! <laughs> we have a new leader! Almost fell down. You gotta finish strong in this competition. You finish strong. You ran out of time, man. <laughs> hardest shot for me is the hardest one to pick. You're gonna win this, though. I hope so. Getting down to the last couple events, you can feel like the, the players are starting to realize they gotta get on the board here and they gotta move up in the standings. The hardest shot event tends to get a lot of oohs and ahs from the crowd. A second shot and he ups the ante. That can't be right. 96.2. No, you tried way harder right. on that, that one. one. You, can, like you tried harder. It didn't, harder, it didn't yeah. feel good. And I guess I did. Ooh. Something, something, ooh, something. Ooh. I think this guy's going to be a hundo. Minimal, yeah, he's minimal. Might be. Oh, my God. He shoots the puck so hard. It's scary. It's scary. Like, watch how fast he gets going. This is the part I can't do. Watch the extra momentum here, guys. Watch. See that? Take it. Nice, man. I'll take it. Broke 100. Yeah. Twice. That's a boost bomb right there. Prediction, what is it right now? 102.5. Here's JT Miller. And 102.3. Oh. Oh, he just he said that. What I tell you? What I tell you? 102 plus? Elias Pettersson's the defending champion of this event. 98 4 to start. Beats me, I'll be rattled. Can he do it again? No. 97 4 3. Kale McCarr has won. Oh, I didn't expect to win it. I, some of the boys told me I should go in it, so I figured I'd never take a run and start a puck before, so I might as well try it. Kale McCarr, hardest shot in the world right now. Fourth, a second, and now a first for Kale McCarr, and he has taken the lead. Time now for stick handling. This won't be easy. You come up through the middle, and then out, middle, and then out, out. And then out. This will be competition number five of six in round one. So a cup line is coming. Two fellas are going to go home. A little more tension here. Usually at these all-stars, everyone's giggling, laughing. Guys are kind of stone-faced. Well, you got a million prunes on the line right now. So yeah, it seems like there's a little bit more seriousness. Is he's nasty. There is a backward skating aspect to this mess, and we just have the one defenseman. That's yeah, got to be an advantage for Quinn Hughes. This guy is ridiculous. So smooth, man. There's now a toe drag here. Yeah. 29038. We just don't know for sure until we see players go what's a good score. I should have cheated more and turned earlier. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Connor McDavid, one of his summer work is doing this drill right here. Woo. Got the quickest hands in the league, you think? He might get it in 20. Woo. The acceleration is just insane. Whoa. Is that legal? Pretty close. Maybe not that close. 25, 7, 5, 5. Pushing the pace. Blue and edge. Pushing P. I blew an edge. Oh, I can't skate backwards. <laughs> so bad. I'm gonna go forwards like in the middle. At the red. At the red, he went he pivoted yeah, yeah, yeah. forwards. Oh, he wants that. He is clearly taking this seriously. See how he negotiates these turns. Oh, little stumble there. Oh, sideways skating. You cheater. <laughs> Here he comes. He's got a chance to catch McDavid. No. No. No way, dog. No way. I'm gassed. I did. You come back and you're like, oh. so much adrenaline. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm going to this up. Oh, my God. I'm up next, brother. Where do I go? From here? I can't skate. 
Let's see how he does here transitioning. Oh! There we go. Ah! That move is kind of hard. It's so tight. You're going, you're going, and you think it's going to be easy. You're coming in hot. You got to hit the brakes. Hey, you're going to score 65 this year. It's fine, bro. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that one. Ah, empty nets are hard for me. Connor McDavid wins the stick handling. The only accuracy shooting remains in round one. Four guys will be eliminated after this event. We'll be down to eight players competing for a million dollars. Kale McCart, one for one. Two for two. Oh, hit the post. It's to reload here. I hit it. I hit it. That count? There's the evidence there. Does that count? Oh, it does? The whole, even if it's a little? For the shots, everything's so precise that the littlest thing could throw something off. Slow start. Oh, a stumble. Give me puck. Hit three straight and finishes strong. 14 099. I love watching the accuracy competition. The best at doing these things. There's a reason they're the best. Connor McDavid on deck. Yeah, he's going to get in like 10. And with McCarr stumbling, it's a chance for McDavid to take charge. Two for two, three for three. He's perfect in nine, one, five, eight. That'll be tough to beat. Yep. Nice, bro. Yeah, that was, that was, that was really juicy. Dude. I literally fan on the third one. I was trying to go high. Pasta needs a big point total. He is four and a half, right on the cut line. Yeah, yeah, pass hard. Yeah. He's the only one participating who's won in the past. Cool, he misses the first. Oh my god. Boss is gonna go home early, I'm afraid. Wow, a lot of goals though. <laughs> a lot of goals, Connor. You got, I got more goals than you in that. I got more goals than you. <laughs> 30 goals. David Pasternak, Leon Dreisaitl, Quinn Hughes, and Nikita Kucherov fail to advance. Two events to go. Our next competition, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. This is where the goalies are involved. They can win 100 grand with the most saves. You can see a little bit of a staring match right now. But the first part of this event is making a decision. Who do you want to go against? You can't pick your own goalie here. You can't pick your own I wish that wasn't the case. Now to our final eight competitors. And we have William Nylander. You're eighth in the standings, but you can make up a lot of ground. We're gonna have you pick your goalie. I'm just gonna go with Cam Tell, but he's standing right in front of me, so uh, I think that's what I'm picking. No! I was going for Tell, he's the oldest. <laughs> the strategy is interesting. There's definitely some, some juices flowing there. If somebody picks you, they're assuming that they can score on you, so that's gonna up the adrenaline on the goalie. Oh, it goes Nylander to work. Click, plus stop. By Talbot. The first pucks are worth one point. Talbot looking sharp. And then the ones on the blue line are two points each. And there's a minute. I'm not sure who you're looking for here, but I got a sense it's Sergei Bobowski. Uh, he's one of the best ever, so uh, I'll try my luck. Interesting strategy. Let Kevin Weeks yeah, decide. Let Kevin Weeks <laughs> decide. I feel like such a, like, picking somebody. I asked Sergei Bobrovsky what he would think of the guy who chooses to shoot on him. And he said, well, I'm just going to have to break his heart. Nate McKinnon, second in scoring, gets one through there. But well, one thing that really stands out, doesn't it, is how long a minute is. McKinnon bubbled that. Oh, no, Nate. Running out of the gas here, McKinnon. And Bobrovsky's had all the answers. That's tough a minute, no? <laughs> I was dying. It's tough to come up with so many moves. Here go, Poppy. Come on, boy. Here comes Matthews. Five hole. Yeah. Go five hole like 20 times. They're going to get like eight. <laughs> Just don't ever switch it. <laughs> hey, you play the lawn game and go low stick every time and then pull it? Matthews. Oh, oh my, that was oh. sick. That was impressive. Bagger. <laughs> Good job. That's a bagger. That's impressive. One shooter left. Our leader, Connor McDavid. He's going hard. Bro, his turns are crazy. Turns on a dime. His ankles are like. Ah. First poke check of the night. And another great poke check. <laughs> because of the speed of McDavid, Georgiev can pick up a number of saves. That's seven. Oh, so Georgiev will win 100 grand if he makes this save. Oh, oh poke check. poke check it again. Oh my god. And he wins $100,000. 
tell me he poked you. Oh, he went, he went full savage mode on you there. So many poke checks. Yeah, I was just like, every time. Now we get down to six. Patterson and Nathan McKinnon now depart. Here we go to the obstacle course. It's time for the final event of the night to decide which NHL All-Star is going home with one million dollars. So how's this work? You go around through the green lights. You gotta sauce in those nets. And then this part, and then shoot it into the hole. If you would have just played better, I wouldn't have to do this. Yeah, I know. I just don't. So here we go, JT Miller. What a great event to end this, because you, you get rewarded for skating, you get rewarding for hands, a little bit of hockey IQ here, finding your target. Oh, no. And then getting oh. it through. And then a little bit baby sauce. A little baby sauce here, got to show the touch. Anyone, pick one. Go, go right. Go more right. He's mislapped every time. Well, this has been a little bit of the stumbling block. It's not getting any better. Oh, my god. Is that it? And then you finish it off there by grabbing this puck and weaving through. Be the crowd getting behind him, trying to bring William Nylander home and got to take the lead in this competition. It's going to be close. No! Oh. This is Connor's event. He had such a big influence on putting this together. Nobody can catch him if he takes care of this. Bro, this is his thing. Yeah, he's too quick. Oh. It's, it comes down to the sauce, man. Oh. It's a good start. Oh, just misses the, this is the narrow one. This is the hardest one. He got it. Congrats on a million. It's over. He's going to do it. Just don't fall down, Connor, and you're going to win a million dollars. Connor McDavid just has to hit that target. And there it is, a million dollar shot. Connor McDavid, he is your champion. You got to pay Asian dues on that? <laughs> right to Jetty. <laughs> Oh, thank you for everything. Oh, thank anyway, you. I appreciate that. This is because of you. It's been a special night. Connor McDavid. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. We get ready for the 68th NHL All-Star Game. Got a jersey for you, for me, from your co-captain. Wow, Appreciate thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate Making it. Making a great team, hopefully we get a win here. Oh my god, thank Best you. Yep. We're gonna kill it. Right, it's, gonna, it's a rookie spot. By the way, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Corner in the, in the visitor's dressing room for the kid from Toronto. Dirty dog. Look at that coat. How we living? Living good. Are you nervous? Your coaching debut? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna come up for warmies too. Yeah. No, you're skating? Yeah. Beaver has been everywhere this week, including on the ice for warm ups. Been a minute. So fun though. It's a dream. Feeling good? Feeling good, yeah. Good, good. How are you? So good. Let's get that dub tonight. Austin! Austin. You ready? Here we go. All right, guys, listen up. If you want special, who did the tape? <laughs> guys, let's win this thing! <laughs> that sets the scene for what should be a fun afternoon here in Toronto with the best of the best in three on three competition. In the three on three, you can't hide. There always has to be effort. You always have to skate. We have a million dollars up for grabs today. Everyone's competitive, but you bring the money side of it in, and guys come to play. In the first semifinal, Nathan McKinnon's team takes on Team Connor McDavid. Later today, Team Hughes and Team Matthews. And those are our 2024 All Star team. Let's go, boys. Where you want it, boys? On the start? Yep. 
And we are underway. How do I sit? The first game is kind of tricky sometimes. You kind of getting a feel of it. Oh, my bad. Pasternak a shot right on and a good pass save made by Georgiev. But it gets pretty intense. It can change in one shift real quick. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Here's McKinnon on a breakaway. Here they go. He scores. Ah! Nathan McKinnon with the first goal of this All-Star game. Oh, this is back here to stop by Georgiev. I like our goalie. He's good. Comes across here. Chance to the front, and that's an empty net and a goal for Boone Jenner. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. We're tied as the second half begins. Pass in oh. front, a rebound opportunity. Bobrovsky with the stop. Good goaltending. We got the backups in now. <laughs> well, we got a break here. Here's Jenner looking for two. And stopped there by Swayman. Oh, I thought he had two. Boy, there's no shortage of chances, but we're oh, yeah. tied at one. Oh, Bobo. Bobo. This guy is great. Yeah. Here's another breakaway, and this time a goal. Yeah. Oliver Bjorkstrand from the Seattle Kraken gives Team McKinnon a two-to-one lead. Here is McKinnon with a backhand, and it's 3 -1. Oh, my God, that was sick. Not much you can do about that. I mean, right? It's sick. That's a pretty backhand goal by the captain. I'm going to go steal all their phones. Hey! Hey! Under two minutes plus oh, to play. They're trying to call Bob. There he goes. There he goes to the bench. The extra attacker for Team McDavid. And Pasternak shooting scores. So it's a one goal game. Come on. Hey. Final 10 seconds. Net empty. And McDavid scores! Two, two goals in the final minute with the net empty to tie it up. There we go! There we go, boys! You know Will Arnett's going to say that's his coaching. So we'll have a shootout. What's the deal for this? Shootout. We'll go. We may as well go one, two, three, now. <laughs> I mean, I would. 97 will come out to take the first shot in the shootout. David Edlin. He beats Swayman, stick side. And Bobrovsky made the stop. Back in forehand. Yeah, baby. Swayman takes it away. Needs one here to tie it after round two. Five, eight. Black turned aside by Bobrovsky. And now Team McDavid can win it. Pasternak kick-started the comeback, a chance to win it. I'm feeling pretty confident. Just thinking about winning it, and that's all we're thinking about, you know? And he does! Connor McDavid and his team will what go it? to the All-Star Game title with a comeback victory! Hey. Come on, what a win! Come on, boys! Come on! Great comeback win. I mean, right? That was awesome. I told them, it must have been something I said. <laughs> And game two is underway. And look at that. Break away the other way. It's Nikita Kucherov oh. scores. And now to break it. Forsberg. Boy, that's it, boys. Look at this okay. again. There's not much defense being played in the first oh, four minutes of this one. There might be just too much offense. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that'll do it for the first 10 minutes. Team Hughes, two. Team Matthews, two. Go Bray! Nice shot, Brady. Oh, good patience! Marner, and he scores! Yes, sir! And they've got the lead, 3-2. Kutra pass, scores! Elias Henderson has tied it. This is not a goalie-friendly format, as you see the Beams and Jim Montgomery fist bumped or pumped. Anybody that's willing to crank up the intensity, these guys are so good. And Team Matthews with another one-goal lead. How do you describe the intensity on the ice? I mean, it's, it's pretty intense. 
Here's the chuck again, and he scores. Um, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Who's going to score next? <laughs> um, I'm going to go with uh, Frank. And a goal! It's Matrano! There you go! Take a 5-4 lead as the clock now becomes a factor. You like their chances here. Forsberg scores! And we're tied at five with 152 to go. It's coming, baby! Oh, it's 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 six seconds left. Oh. And the horn goes! And we will head to yet another shootout. Justin, three shooters. Are you guys gonna go first or not? What do you think? His call. We're gonna go first. He's gonna pick the shooter. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Oh, the hot guy. You got Forsberg coming out as the first shooter. Oh! And off the post. Oh, that is unlucky. Oh, would have picked Jets. Kyle Connor. Oh! And that one's stopped by Shusterkin. Here he comes. Matthews off wing side. No goal. Gucherov here again. Yeah, he he wants it. That's my boy. Stopped inside by his countryman, Shusterkin. And another stop by Tempo. And here it is, Elias Pedersen. Trying to win it for Team Hughes, and it rolled off his stick. So Alex Debrinkato has a pair of goals for Team Matthews. Look, shoots it. Yes! Well, JT Miller, take it all in, JT. Has to score for Team Hughes. Against Team McDavid. Carry us there. And superstars galore again this afternoon as we have reached our grand finale. Team McDavid, Team Matthews. Would you want it any other way for the championship title at All Star Weekend and the million dollar prize? We're in Toronto. We're at the center of the hockey universe. All eyes are on this Let's game. Go. We have the only high expectations for us, and we're going to go get that win. There's no holding back. The winning coach got 100000 eh? Is that true? Did Pete get a split with you, what? Wait, dollars? And the championship game is underway. Here's Matthews in front. Yeah. Clayton Keller from the Arizona Coyotes has the first goal of this championship game for Team Matthews. That's it, All right, they're going pretty hard. They want to win. They'll give you this one that you like to do. It works good, though. Oh, no. Bounce. Yeah. Suzuki finds the trailing Jenner. He scored in the opener. He scores again. Oh, oh my god, Moody. Oh, boy, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Nick, Nick. Uh oh. They score. Yeah, it's man. David Posternock of the Boston Bruins. And he ties it in two. Here we go. Buddy. Celebrity captain Will Arnett. 2 2 the score. Just under two minutes remaining here for the first. Here in and here's Matthews. Scores. Right back. Seconds apart. They got a lot of offense. Not a lot of defense out there. Kind of cool these lines are staying on the ice. We'll see if they can get a third one in 20 seconds. Here's a centering pass. And Dry Cycle scores. Whatever you can do, I can do better. <laughs> Three goals in 18 seconds. The intensity has been wrapping up all afternoon, so it's fitting after two shootouts were tied with 10 minutes left in this final All-Star game. Did you make this yourself? No. no. I had a kid from uh, the Sick Kids Hospital in his item. He drew, he drew him himself. That's awesome. Yeah, so they put him on the skates. And... Was that your request to do it? Yeah, it was like myself and Sick Kids together, and then uh, he's actually here. So I'm going to see him after. He doesn't know, but we got a little pair of uh, replicas for him, like for him. So yeah, it would be awesome. He's a great kid. Yeah, he's a great kid. So proud. These guys are uh, the best athletes in the world and um, I'm just glad to be a part of it.
You make some changes, line changes. Is it your call? Um, I'm deferring to the other coaches, but uh, I'm just here for moral support. Tie game 3-3 as we enter the second half of the championship final. In the final 10 minutes of what has been a terrific weekend here in Toronto. Yeah, let's not get cozy. Let's not get cozy. Numbers. Yeah! Yeah! Philip Forsberg! The stash is hot! You got everything under control! I'm controlling myself, but I'm about to challenge some You know what to challenge, at least? Just no, I, I might challenge anything, so be on guard. I got the smart no. sweets on deck. I need some fuel. Now Keller dashes back with Matthews. Matthews scores! There's a one-time signature shot by Austin Matthews. Oh, yeah. Oh, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't get comfortable out there, boys. We're out for blood. We're out for blood. Up, up. Here we go. Very nice. It's Reinhardt back in. Sam Reinhardt stopped by Ottinger. What a save. Are you joking? Here comes Hellebuck. Heading to the bench for an extra attacker. Nail in the coffin, job, coach. So the home crowd is going to be delighted as Team Matthews, they're going to win. Way to lead us. That's it, man. Great game. You guys did great. Awesome job. Awesome. I wanted to win so bad. I know. Hey, Kelly. You can't. Stop. Shelly. Nice job, boys. Good job. Is there, Asmus? The MVP is Austin Matthews of your Toronto Maple Leafs. Hey, thank you. Great job. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was. This is yours. You don't have to take it. I can bring it back to you. All right. That'd be great, please. And it's Team Matthews that gets the million dollar team prize. What a terrific job, Gray. Toronto has done hosting. You could feel the buzz here all weekend. This is a city that loves hockey, one of the great cities in North America, and it has been a fantastic weekend for Toronto and for the National Hockey League. First game was about what we thought, and then second game ramped up a little bit, but um, you know it was good that we, um, you know, were able to get our legs moving, and uh, you know, kind of feel good. You know, guys put in some really good efforts out there, and. Uh, just a lot of fun. I mean, I think that's what this weekend's all about. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be, uh, you know, a good time. A lot of the, you know, all the best players in the world kind of coming together and, um, you know, having fun, putting on a show for the fans. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you think? Awesome. Matching pair? Look at that. Take it. What do you think? Hey, you did it. I love it. Oh, I'm glad, buddy. Thanks for doing that for me. You gave me some good luck today. You gave the whole team some good luck today. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. We all want to grow the game. We all want the game to become something bigger. And these are the type of events that will get people to appreciate it more and be a little bit closer and see another side of certain players and see maybe a little bit more of the human side of, of certain guys. I will miss you. I'm going to miss you too, buddy. I'll see you soon, though. Get you back to another game, right? Yeah? Yeah. My secret weapon, you know? I need you. I need you around all the time. <laughs> you like One more hug? Yeah. All right. I'm okay. All right. Good seeing you, buddy. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. As a player, it's always great to see hockey on the biggest stage, all the events, getting to hang out with the guys, the show that's put on. It is so special and so meaningful that we see all these players continue to come back year after year. Whether it's you know, the newest guys like Connor Bedard, whether it's guys like Austin Matthews and Connor McDavid. When people see it in person and they're around the game, they, they realize that there's so many good people. The athleticism is, is kind of second to none. I think it's continuing to grow the game.